I secretly hope that that's happening. That there's like some dev who listens to our episodes. And he's like, well, one, you can't tell. It's a coincidence. And then afterwards they get nervous and they listen to a couple more and then they keep stealing ideas and they become obsessed and think that they're frauds and they can't come up with any original ideas. And then we'll know. Hello and welcome. My name is Jay and with me today is my good old friend, Alexander Gonzalez. Howdy. And please remember that we are not game devs. How are you doing today, Alex? Um, I'm free of COVID, but COVID is not free of me. Oh, I get, uh, I get the shot tomorrow. The, the vaccine shot or is that what they're called? Do you? I do. Do you do in the one, one, one and done know. or the two part? We'll see when we get there. All right. Well, we'll see when you get to the other side. I hear that it makes your arm sore. We'll see. But those are not the vaccines, vaccines, epidemics that we are talking about today. Germs? Today, we are creating something new. Every week, we on our game devs will create a new exciting video game idea that we have always wanted to play, but not have any knowledge or know how to create the wonderful experience that are video games. Today is my turn to present We Are Not Game Devs 145th IP. Let's begin with this, which is Lay it on me. I want, I don't know if this is even gonna be allowed if this were to ever really come out, but I pretty want, much want to copy Splatoon. <laughs> where are in episode 145 is when we went downhill so it's like splatoon but you're in a ball pit your kids in a giant ball pit right and uh-huh. this is this is where i'm going so what we're going to be doing is uh it's going to be a more focused this number just came to me 3v3 is going to be the focus right you're, you're a 3v3 and the idea where I'm taking Splatoon inspiration is you could dive into the ball pit and kind of hide from your enemies. And that's all. Why you- don't you let's let's make these fucking um, let's make these characters uh, fucking uh, we're, we're just going to keep ripping Splatoon off. Let's make them sea base. Let's make them sharks. Let's make them dolphins and let's make them whales and orcas. And those would be classes. You'll have heavies. I guess, but why sea creatures? I I I was imagining this because to I be imagine like... a big old ball pit, and then I imagine there's these uh these humans, and they have like fins mm. that stick out of the water, and then you can breach and jump up and shoot people, and then go back into the ball pit. Interesting. Let me let me complete the idea here, and we'll see if that still holds true. Because it's not just one large ball pit, right? Right? Like think about a ball pit in like a McDonald's play place. Uh, there's the ball pit and then surrounding the ball pit there's like plastic tunnels and slides and shit and that's all gonna be in this map and in those areas obviously there's no ball pits there there could be hidden ball pits in these tunnels but that's where like the close quarter shooting is happening and the idea is every time you go under um i don't know how much you played splatoon but you go in the ink to reload your gun and that's what we're doing Mm -hmm. here where you go under to pick up more balls And when you come back up, that's how much ammo you have. And you could only have so much on you at one time. Um, And I think you could have different weapons and stuff. I don't know if that's exactly what it is. Maybe, yeah, like you could load up like a Nerf bullet gun type of thing. Um, But the idea is, yeah, every time you go down, you're reloading. So when you run into these little tunnel areas, it, that's where like more close quarter shooting and you can't hide would be. But if you need to go hide, you'd run out and dive into the ball pit type of thing. Um, also, I s- imagine being a ball pit. Sometimes when you shoot your gun, it's not going to be a ball that flies out. This is just for flavor. It doesn't actually affect anything in the game. But like sometimes a sock will come out or a shoe will come out or a hamburger or whatever. That sounds pretty cool. So... We can go a bunch of different ways with this. We can make it a bunch of different parks. It won't. It, it doesn't just have to be like regular slides. There can also be water slides mm-hmm. with the ball pit. You can have um, with a ball pit. You can also do grenades that explode with tons of balls coming out of them. And then maybe uh, do you want? There's no way. Because I'm thinking if uh, if two players shoot enough balls in an area, will that become a pit or does it take a while? 
Like, could you fill up like a recessed area? Like, uh, no, I don't a think concave it's concave structure in the world. I don't think it's dynamic that way. When you shoot your balls, the balls will like they'll stay they'll stay there for a little bit, but they'll disappear. And you could only like I, I would say shoot even for like the big like if there's a Gatling gun type of weapon. I would say you could only have like 36 bullets without diving again. You know what I mean? Or until you have to dive again. So it's not like you'll you'll have to spend a lot of time trying to fill a thing up with balls if that's what you're trying to do. But even then, I don't think we would even allow that to happen. You know what I mean? Okay. This game feels like it can't be grounded in reality. We can't just like come off. We can't make like a playpen. We have to make something amazing. Yeah, that, it's like, not it's not going to literally be a McDonald's play place. It's going to be no, a little bit more elaborated than that. Cuz I'm still thinking I think slides will work. I think clear slides will work. Um I want to go unabashedly for colorful in this game mm -hmm. where there will be fountains that it's like a ball pit fountain. So there's just that coming out or there's maybe like a pond and there's uh four different spouts just shooting balls into the air yeah you we could have like a snowy ball pit and it's like those snow machines you have in california because you guys don't have enough snow oh. and just blast balls you guys how long have you been in california <laughs> probably longer than i've been in, no that's not true uh but yeah like i see what you mean by not grounded in reality where yeah like you can have like crazy stuff like that and um and we can make it where <laughs> stupid stuff starts happening like we could have a windy level, then there's a tornado that becomes over a ball pit, and then there's a ball pit tornado that doesn't hurt you. Yeah. But you can get in there and get ammo and shoot other people in the tornado. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Maybe that, yeah, in that's like one level, like a desert area's ball pit. And it's like a, what if all these ball pits are like... <laughs> tumbleweeds but made out of the ball pit balls <laughs> as, it's, as it like goes around. So this is what I imagine now. So each level... Each map is based off of a different fast food restaurant. And so, yeah, like the desert one would be like a Mexican restaurant, like a Taco Bell or something. Uh, the the one in the mountain is like some, I don't know, some dumb name, like Yeti's Burgers or something. And it's like a snowboard resort. But this is like where you leave the kids to play while the adults are out yeah. skiing and shit. Um, and so, yeah, each map that we present will have an association. Like the water level Yo. would be like, a Let's make restaurant. it a beach where there's like, um, where it's like a sushi restaurant on the beach, and then there's like a tide, what that's just full of balls, like it's just all of them there. Mm. Mm, I see, just like just straight up, like an beach. ocean. Yeah. So where I would want to go with that, so I want there to be main like different modes in this game, kind of like how Splatoon and other first person shooters just in general do it, or just shooters in general, where, yeah, there's the main ranked mode, which is your 3v3 PVP team deathmatch, right? And that's the point is to kill people, not kill, but pop enough balls to them where they like fall down unconscious or something, or get drowned in balls, and maybe that's the animation. I would like it, this game just gets crazy with it, and then they just explode with balls. They just explode into balls? <laughs> Yeah, I like the idea of them drowning in balls. Oh yeah, yeah. maybe maybe you shoot enough at them, and it's just a pile with like a. It'd still be too morbid if there's like a cross on top. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Just maybe like a little hand. <laughs> I think it's even worse. Maybe a little angel. Well, no, it's still that's platoon copying even more. That's what happens. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Okay, yeah. Then maybe uh, that's it. They'll just get sucked in. Whatever. Um, but where I was going with that is like another mode could be like the PVE mode and that could be at like the beach. And then maybe, yeah, you do have to fight off wave. Ha, you have to fight off waves, waves. <laughs> of enemies coming in from the waves of balls. Right. And th then we Works. could like, that's where like, we'll have like some lore building of why there's so many balls everywhere in this universe. And I'd want it to be, um, the enemies are, a personified version of the lawnmower toy you give babies where as it moves forward there's a button oh. it's like it has a clear round body almost like an egg yeah and in there is a bunch of balls like flying around that it then shoots yeah i can imagine that being one of the bosses but what if we make most of the major like that's a mini boss but what if the major bosses are like 
fake mascots of the restaurants that the PvP maps are restaurants for. Like, you'll have, like, a fake Ronald McDonald. You'll have, like, a fake uh, Wendy's, a Burger King. But they're all, like, mascots of whatever. You know what I mean? We could do it. We could do Chuck it. E. Cheese. Oh, there could be, like, a pizza place. You know what I mean? That'll be the scary level. Mm. Like, it'll be all's fine and good. And then all of a sudden, the lights will turn off. And then there'll be a bunch of different mascots. Yeah, maybe we could have a different game mode where it's, like, yeah, like, you know, a scary... Like five nights- Five Nights at Freddy's exactly. is basically a take on the mascots at Chuck E. Cheese, but you can go even further and then take it away. Yeah. Maybe we could add a game mode during Halloween for that level when we premiere that level, the Chuck E. Cheese level. And then there's like a special game mode for Halloween, kind of like uh, how Overwatch does their seasonal events where it's like, yeah, all the lights are off. And then you and four other or three, other, I guess it would have to be three. You and three other, two other, sorry, a team of three goes through a... Uh, Chuck E. Cheese like area where all the lights are off and it's like more horror and you got to like fight off the mascots from the Chuck E. Cheese. I like it. I like it. The last mode I want to add, this we'll have to introduce like a year after the game has been out because everyone's like, oh, it's kind of like Splatoon, but it's like ball pits and it's a a little bit more competitive because it's not about spraying the ground with paint and see who has more paint at the end. The last mode I want to add is your side starts with a certain color of balls the other side starts with a certain color of balls, and the goal is cover the ball pit with more of your color of balls than the other team. So it is just a Splatoon copy at that point. But that would have to be like a year after it comes out, so people don't get too with, mad at this. But instead of 2D physics, it'll have 3D physics in it, right? Right. So what if paints, you could do something yeah. where you could um, jump into the ball pit and do a cannonball, and then that knocks out the opponent's balls? Mm, so kind of like make it super dynamic i guess is what you're saying and like yeah like different different little features in it or you can suck up you know how you need ammo you can suck up your opponent's balls and then kill them outside of the ball pit with their own ammo Mm, i see yeah so kind of like uh well let's talk about that portion a little bit too do you want this to be kind of like splatoon where Fashion is super important where you could choose yeah. all the clothes. You could choose different like weapon it, types with different grenades and ults and stuff attached. I think there should be different weapons and different ults attached to it, but not style. We're playing in ball pits, man, and facing mascots. It ain't about being cool. I think this game is more about being uh, having a certain level of camp to it. Mm, I see. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I get you. Yeah. Um Kind of have that nostalgic ring to it. Um, almost irreverent. I don't want to go for this vibe exactly, but like if, if you can imagine like Sunset Overdrive, like that, because it's going to be uber colorful, mm-hmm. but not in terms of art style or anything, just like in terms of it not taking itself seriously. Yeah. Uh, what do you think this game looks like in terms of character models and stuff? Like I want the balls to look like real plastic balls you know what i mean i want it to be very very satisfying like the balls the physics and everything i have no idea what these characters look like i keep picturing i can't picture full uh, like proportioned adults what i'd honestly want to do if you'd let me is actually go full anime not part anime but just full anime boys and girls but that way it's like this uh or animated that way. I think it would work better. Just because uh, people love Genshin Impact. I wouldn't even mind if you get to like get like uh, do boxes for characters. How about this? Um, we'll, we'll take a page out of Fortnite's book, I think. And you could have different skins on your characters. It doesn't necessarily change anything. It doesn't change hitbox. doesn't change abilities or anything like that but you could put on full different skins and my idea is these skins are anime characters but in all anime art style ranges like you'll have like the more chibi looking characters you'll have the more realistic anime characters but like it's all like skins that they'll all have their own names their own backstories we'll have like voice quips for each one so every time we come out with a skin like, think, like, Overwatch without the abilities. Like, they'll all be different characters with their yeah, own personalities, yeah. backstories, and then those characters will have skins. 
Um, and we'll e introduce new characters as the story progresses or whatever. And like for the Halloween one, we'll introduce a more spooky looking anime character. But like they'll all have their own art style. Like one will look yeah, like you'll have 90s anime while one will look like One Punch Man, you know? Yeah, 90s anime or you can have chibi anime or you can have um, shonen anime where it's like it looks like you, you picked up a character from Dragon Quest. Mm. You, you could have the Gundam anime where they look just really sketchy. I don't know how yeah. else to describe it. Just like they look like they were drawn for the first a lot time. Of lines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like they never put fine lines in. Cool. Or what? what's another one? Um, the art style that jumps out at me is Kill a Kill. Yeah. Um, not as much as um, I'm not talking about being scantily clad or anything. I'm just talking about the art style. Yeah. And I think there will be a character that is a little bit more like fan service. Like there'll be a fan service -y character. They'll like we'll do multiple yeah. anime tropes. We'll do like we'll have the the yeah, magical so girl character. Yeah. Yeah. It's all that stuff. And then and like, the same with the guys. Like I'm talking about like if you beat a if you beat like a guy, he'll do the thing where he pushes up his glasses and all yeah. of a sudden they become reflective. We'll we'll um, also have like the the sports anime anime look to him and like we'll have different the stoic character who when he when he beats the round he looks off into the distance and just goes hmm <laughs> yeah we'll we'll def like i think that'll look cool like it would, it would have a cool look to it where all that if all the characters are different art styles of anime but then the ball pits and the the actual playground looks super realistic like just i like it hyper realistic but only the characters are anime looking music what do you think we're i kind of want it to be um <laughs> i want it to be anime music it doesn't have to be but i'm talking about the specific music i want is i want it to either be like j-pop or k-pop like very very fucking catchy where before you know it like when you're in the kitchen making yourself some eggs you're like then at the bin <laughs> and you're like oh yeah. fuck now that we have these anime looking characters i actually want it to be kind of the same vein it's like a j-pop music but not like j-pop you hear you in know, the radio j-pop you would hear when you're walking around the streets of tokyo and someone's trying to advertise their product using this song type of j-pop you know what i mean it, what was that one fucking i i know i've been uh name dropping a lot but it was the nintendo japanese dragon app Oh, you're talking about I was obsessed with this. Dragalia, Dragalia Lost. Lost. Yeah. Yo, that had some fucking bangers on it. it That's did. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like something like that. Like I rarely play uh praise a game's music. And that that game Dragalia still Lost was like, great. And that's why I love Genshin Impact so much, because it was a Dragalia Lost copy, but with a Breath of the Wild skin over it. Um yeah, yeah. but I totally agree. Yeah, some kind of like cheesy J pop that it's like background music J-pop that you wouldn't even realize is there. Like, it's what would be playing in the mall in Japan. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's... And just like how... Um, just like how Persona does it or Dragalia Lost, where all of a sudden the music's just in your head and then you're in the shower listening to the OST mm. when it drops. Yeah. Pricing. How much do you think you're willing to pay for this? Dude, we're doing fucking high renders. This shit's 60 bucks, 60 bucks? right? Interesting, because I was we're, either thinking, yeah, it has to be a full... Or for Genshin proved me wrong. Maybe 40 right? You can make a very good quality-looking game yeah. for not that much. Well, I was thinking either uh, full price or free-to-play. We could go both ways. It's just there'll be different models at the end. Fuck. I think free-to-play would make it more successful. Yeah. And, like, you'll have, like... Like I said, it's we're going to introduce new anime characters in a new style with a new character, but then they'll, on top of that, have their own skins that you could either purchase or you could wait to unlock in loot boxes. Um, and then maybe eventually we could uh, start adding, like, more stuff, like weapon skins. And then maybe we could start adding, like, um, what Overwatch does, where it's, like, voice quips and then, like, sprays and stuff like that. Because uh, Apex starts copying Overwatch in that sense, where they added hollow sprays, they added voice quips, they added uh diving emotes and stuff like that so eventually we could start adding stuff that people would want to pay for and then the battle pass and all that stuff you know what i mean yeah yeah definitely and it works well with our skins and everything like that all right alex it's time to start your timer because it's time to name this game 
All right. And go. The pit. Sounds good. The pit at three seconds. <laughs> pit senpai. Pit of woo. Um, oh, what if the title screen you start it? It's like super balancy J pop music, and it's it's like the pit, but it's like the pits. <laughs> it's like yes, all in Japanese. That's exactly it's what I want. Yeah. And yeah, when you when you press start, it'll be like the pitsu. Yay! And I hear, As it gets going. <laughs> That would be delightful. So that was like within three seconds. Uh, do you mind giving us an overview of oh. the pit? Yeah. It's, uh, okay. So the overview is this is a game all about ball pits. You have different weapons that run on ball pits balls. Different characters that you can play with different voice lines and skins. And you must either control the territory by spreading your balls everywhere or knocking out your opponents with your ball weapons. You can traverse through maps in unique ways, dive under and play in the ball pits or jump up or keep your enemies from the ball pits and the resources. In Welcome the pit to also, Pitsu. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think we have a game here, Alex. What do you think? Would this be a game you want to play? And is it fun? Oh, yeah. I'd die laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Playing this game, if it was um, if it was that fucking kawaii, I, I, would, I would die. Now, I don't think there's going to be any English VO at all, unless the character speaks English, but it's going to be very terrible Japanese English. You know what I mean? And like, yeah. And I just... I imagine playing with you, Jay, and you're right there, and you're like, I'm like, Jay, I got a new voice line. Gambate! Gambate! Like, as I'm screaming at you, waving. Yeah, yeah, and I, I feel like it's going to just, yeah, all be in Japanese. We we won't even be like, no. English VO, that's not that's not our, that's not the 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 plan with this game. That's not even in the scope. You, you have the whole idea of this game wrong if you're asking for English VO. <laughs> I want I want this game to have an easy platinum. It must. Unfortunately, most free to play games I don't think have platinums, but that's just mm. how it goes. All right. Now that we have a complete game, what game studio would you assign to be able to make the pit the best? Oh, man, that is tough. I do have that. one off the bat that I don't want this to be the guys that make this game, but it would make sense if they do and it'd be really weird if they did. But Bandai Namco and if they brought in like actual shonen characters, like these are actual real anime characters, it just makes sense. But I would rather be these characters be from the ground up, made up, individualistic anime main characters and side characters okay. and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I got it. We need a redemption story. We need a game that doesn't take itself too seriously, but also a studio that needs to come back. Fucking Platinum Games. Oh, nice. Let's get them making fucking... They could do it. Because I was thinking at first, I would like the zaniness and the colorfulness. I'd want Insomniac, but I'm like, no, no, no. Insomniacs, they could do it. I mean, they're part of Sony now, but no, no, no. I think this would have to be uh, Platinum Games. I think they would get the feel. They would understand. The last one, it would have to, I mean, the way that we're going, it has to be Japanese. So I guess Atlas would be the next best choice. Um, yeah. But I just thought of something else, a cool mechanic. Maybe your ult or like your, maybe your ult does matter about which character, this would change the game a little bit, but maybe your ult does matter for the uh, character that you choose to be as your skin or whatever, because your ult, I imagine, would be like, Whoever you pick, either your the anime character you pick is either going to be one of two things. They're either going to be the main character of the fake anime we're putting them in charge of, or they're going to be like the best friend, or we'll even have like the nobody side character that no one cares about in the background. Like, you know, we'll, we'll have one anime character that's like a half-drawn anime character that you see in the crowd of a page in a manga do you know what i mean like they only oh have eyes in the god. shape <laughs> yeah and also like they're the character that like when it wins just has the heavy lines like Ugh. yeah yeah 
Uh, but anyway, the ult would be them calling in like either their best friend character or the side character or like their mech, if they're like a mech anime character, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But that's besides the point. And with that, our 145th IP has gone gold. We hope you look forward to this experience that will probably never release. You can write to atpoundgames at gmail.com if you have anything to patch with the game we created today. Also, give us feedback. We are still learning how to make the show better, and your feedback really helps. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to back our ideas, please head over to patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early and an extra podcast at the beginning, which caught the tail end of our conversation at the beginning of this episode. That's patreon.com slash we are not game devs. If you like the show, why not subscribe and give us all the stars on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Store, Spotify, YouTube, and more. And if you ask for a review, instead of reviewing our show, become your inner game critic and review The Pit, the video game we just created. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be back next Friday with another new IP. Again, my name is J.E. And I'm Alex Gonzalez. Thank you. And please remember that we are not game devs. Okay, so I imagine one being it's a it's um uh almost like a sailor girl transformation where light shines and she absorbs balls <laughs> onto her body and it's gonna be a guy version too and then all of a sudden when she becomes the form the balls all flow everywhere and then they can move faster. Mm. I was thinking mm. another one would be that yeah you can summon a mech and it, it absorbs you and then it shoots balls out of its hands or a gun. Another one would be that a dude has a watch and he presses it and then out of the ball pit comes out a Godzilla like figure and it makes a horrible roar and starts instead of a power beam stream, it's just balls yeah. coming out of its mouth. There, there also has to be like the, the card game player that like summons like a wave of oh, balls yeah. or something. <laughs> and then um They'll have to be another character with super strength. Well, they'll do a super punch and then it'll knock all the balls out of the pit. Like there'll be like a fist yeah, ingrained. Yeah. I dig it. But this is, oh, but uh, they have to have an increasing power level where as things power up, there's little lightning bolts between the air and the balls start floating around them. <laughs>